Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are not installing any parts today. Ah! Right. Zoe actually has a dead battery. It's actually been sitting here for like two months, so I haven't really gotten to do anything with this. It's gotten to the point where I can barely even jumpstart the car anymore. It's pretty sad. And then also on top of that, we're gonna be working on Gary for the first time ever because I found out recently that this car actually is running and I'll explain that in a little bit whenever we get to it, you'll see it's pretty funny. But uh, we're gonna actually probably put some coolant in this and try and get it running and driving. Actually because I have a buyer for the car. Somebody that I go to autocross with here locally has been interested in the car and honestly, Gary's just not in that great of shape because it's been sitting for like two years outside in the sun, the clear coat across the Entire car is rough. I got it as a project car. I could finish it, but realistically, I would love to just give this to somebody who's really passionate about it and loves eclipses and uh, take that money and put it into this one because I feel like there will just be much more entertainment coming from this and I would love to return to this platform eventually, just maybe not with this specific car. That's really it. That's all I have on my list for today, so let's get into it. I got a pocket trumpet recently. A lot of people don't know this, but I was actually in band for like, I played trumpet for five years and then I played baritone and euphonium for uh, the last year. It was pretty cool. It was a good time. Ah, that feels much better. <laughs> Rusty, but yeah, it's a, I'm a, a little, little rusty, but that is fun. Little, Holy shit, what can you play? You need sheet music. So. How does Cantina Band go? No, I'll return to this later. I need to get this battery out. I think it's just that one. Yep. Now we have access to the whole battery. Let me see. Come on, get out of there. This is actually pretty cool too. This is a uh, battery mount bracket, like it's an aftermarket one. It's not very cheap, but it sure does work well, a lot better than whatever I had previously. Actually, I'm pretty sure I used zip ties before because I didn't have one. So if you're interested in get one of these, I'll actually put the link for it in the description below. It might take a while to come in, but it's definitely worth it. Get that off, dude. This battery is so fucking old. It expired in 2014, or this was bought in 2014. All right, come here, you heavy bitch. <laughs> Fuck these batteries, dude. Oh my God, I need to find a light battery for this. I want a lithium battery so bad. But actually, I got a battery relocation kit, so we'll actually be putting this chunky thing in What's the back the of the out, car. Bro? No, that shit was just heavy. Actually, it would be much better having that weight in the rear. Exactly, that's what I was moving to. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Yes, spending money once again. All we do around here, boy, is spend money. God, that's not gonna tip over. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever actually played around with the, the launch control on this car, but it's pretty sick. It works pretty well. battery. Oh, hell yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> should look good in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, that would look really dope in the trunk. Look at that thing. Dude. It weighs just as much, but it doesn't have acid in it. It's gel, yeah. so you can like tip it upside down and shit and it shouldn't cause it any issues. Like a Lego pack. We ended up going with a uh, yellow top battery because I plan on relocating this thing. Eventually it's too short. Yeah, so this is definitely not gonna work because that's supposed to go like that. Wow, this thing is a whole lot shorter. Looks like I might be doing that battery relocation a lot sooner than I expected. So here is our battery relocation kit. If you're interested in getting one of these at any point, the link is in the description. I got it off of Amazon. It was like right at $100. You got your hot, you got your ground, your tray, and stuff to mount the battery. The first step with all this it's gonna be finding out where to mount the battery. Let me lower the wing and get the trunk open. Wow, it is filthy back here. Right here, that is locked because the battery's fuck. This is about to suck because there's no battery in the car. So this is how you open the trunk of your Z without a battery in it. Get up there, go. Oh. Wow, thank you, sir. All right, so I got an idea, ladies and gentlemen. 
we're scrapping the fucking battery tray. So, anyways, if you move this battery up, there's a hole right here. My plan is to hook this into that hole, have the battery underneath it, and then, if I can, I am going to have a hole drilled somewhere, just right here. Then I'm gonna hook this through it, just, just enough to hold the battery down. The bolt is even long enough to go down. I don't think it is. Maybe my plan won't work. Well, I can drill another hole. Ha, I can drill another hole. Let's just see if this works. I don't even know what's under this. Irresponsibly drilling holes in my car. Bro, it's a Z. It's not that important. Make sure you deburr your drill holes. Should be a little smoother. I fucked it up. God damn. I've made a severe mistake. All right. I threaded too far down. So it went off of the threads and now it's just completely fucked up. Yep, it's toast. Bro, we bent the bolt. That's what it looked like. All right, so I got a new plan. I'm actually gonna end up using the battery relocation kit and uh, we're gonna end up using some riv nuts like we did with the heel plates in the car to actually secure the battery tray. The idea I had was to put it in this far back corner because there's also a factory chassis ground right here. All right. So we'll have four spots right here that I know will have no issue. Let's see if we can get this, this tray in here after I vacuum this shit real quick. A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I actually uh, got a little bit frustrated and ended up just doing the whole thing off camera. So pretty much everything that we've done so far, it's ran the hot wire, connected it to here. This used to be connected to the terminal. We're not using this ground here anymore. So we ran the wire through the firewall, up through here for now. I'll end up securing it in place eventually. And for now, we are about to go ahead and hook it up for the first time. And now we should be able to start the car up. <laughs> oh my, that's pretty cool. Hello, sir. I have a gift. Oh, a uh, windshield wiper. Yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> sir, this is a Porsche parking lot. Oh, my bad. We only allow fast cars around. Oh, fuck. About to start this thing for the first time in like three months. Oh. Here we are two weeks later from working on the Z and we can actually get some time to work on the Eclipse now. The only thing we're really doing today is we're gonna be filling the car with coolant because it currently does not have any whenever I bought the car like two or three years ago. I'm hoping that the fans still work. I'm hoping that there's no clogs or leaks anywhere, but today's gonna be the first time we find out. So all we can really do right now is just start the car up. I'm not gonna try and drive it anywhere yet, which actually, by the way, interesting story is that last time you guys saw this car, it was not running. Turns out the reason it was not running is because the battery was so dead, I couldn't even get it to jump start because whenever I hooked up a jump pack to it, it didn't even register that it was hooked up to a battery. So it just never worked. I thought it had blown a fuse and just wouldn't start. But now it turns out the car is actually running. Check this shit out. <laughs> so, there's still no exhaust on it. As you can see, the exhaust is coming straight out of the turbo. There's no boost line hooked up. So now that you guys actually do see that the car runs, it's, um, it's quite an interesting car. 
So the reason we're actually working on it and we're getting stuff kind of situated on it is because I do actually have a buyer for this car. Unfortunately, I never actually got around to doing anything with it. It's just sat and uh, collected some age and wear from the weather. So like the paint's in terrible condition, the clear coat on the carbon fiber is in horrible condition. It's got a shattered windshield from being in a storm, but it's got a ton of extra parts. As you can see in here, there's a shit ton of piping. There's an extra ECU in here. So I'm just, I have somebody who wants to come get it and they're gonna come uh, probably pick it up as their next project car. And if they decide that they don't want it, then we will uh, probably pick up the project. So first things first, let's go ahead and get some coolant in here. Which, by the way, guys, if you are uh, pulling a radiator or draining coolant or any of that stuff, get you one of these because it is going to make your life a thousand times easier. So it is basically uh, what you would need to properly bleed your coolant system or burp your coolant system, I think would be the technical term for it. Let's start the car again and we'll fill it up. are still good they're great actually well that's about all i really have for this car at the moment it is like no significant progress is supposed to be made on this build the whole goal was just to put coolant in the car let it run for a bit just to make sure that it doesn't have a blown head gasket but um yeah the guy who wants to pick up this car really just wants to have a project for himself and he really likes the platform and he's got some friends who know about the platform. So him picking up this car is probably the best thing that's gonna happen for it. So anyways, until then, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the coolant and get rid of all the extra hose that we have laying around. And we'll go ahead and prepare this and probably clean it up a little bit to be sold. So yeah. We are selling the Eclipse. So this is something that I've actually been uh, debating on doing for quite a while. I've had the car for like probably two or three years and not once, not one single time have I actually made a video with it. And the reason for that is kind of sad really is because I had the Eclipse and the Z both at the same time, but um, I only had a one car garage. So the Z got all the care while the Eclipse sat outside in the weather and the storms, which funny enough actually, the hood latch never worked for the longest time. So whenever we actually uh, had a storm come through one time, the hood came open and uh, smashed the windshield right here. And then also on top of that, it's just sat out in the sun for so long. So the seats are a bit sun bleached. I never really just had enough time or knowledge to work on this car. It always just got put in the back burner and it even became a running joke for a long time that I would just never work on this car. And actually, I did. Recently here, I actually put in a new coolant temp sensor for the car. And then I also ran all the plumbing for the wastegate and blow off valve. So now the car should actually run and drive fine as it's supposed to with the turbo kit. It's just not tuned. A lot of people have been asking about if I'm gonna be moving with Gavin or not. And the short answer is yes. And that's also part of the reason why I wanna sell this car. So that way I can just like offload a little bit of weight for the moving process. I have a lot of stuff around here that we're gonna have to move, including a few cars because I'm bringing the Z with me, the Mustang will go, the RSX will go. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the Durango yet, um, but it will help with the moving process. And um, this car doesn't even run or drive. And I really don't wanna really worry about moving it. I think I've come to peace with it and I'm ready to let the car go. So here in a few minutes, the new owner will be pulling up to come pick up their car for the first time. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and move it out of the shop and into the sunlight where he can see it clearly because we're just gonna be loading it straight up and leaving. Here is the first ever startup that I think has been on camera for this car. You guys have never seen this car run and drive. Here we go.
can't believe I just drove this thing out of the shop. All right, he's gonna pull his car around so that way we can load this car up. So for now, I'm gonna close the hood. Uh, you can just hop in. It drives like a normal car. It is a five speed. Okay. So if you wanna go into reverse, it's where six gear is. Yep. Oh yeah, keep yeah, it was broken. Did I break it? Oh man, bro, this hurts. I've had this car for so long and never did anything with it until you wanted to buy it. And then I fixed it so you could buy it. And now it's gonna leave. This thing actually does look pretty dope rolling around. I'll be honest. <laughs> the Eclipse is one hell of a body shape. It really is. All right. Out of here. Hell yeah, dude. God, you got a firm handshake. Um, I need dude, another one. Big <laughs> another one. Well, see you later, dude. Enjoy your new ride. Enjoy your new project. Oh no, there it goes. No! Oh no, it's taking my project car. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. It hurts so bad, bro. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. Fuck. Well guys, that's it. That's the end of Gary. Never again. Well, we see Gary on this channel as a channel vehicle. It only hurts a little bit. Oh, God, I love the church music next door. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. I just figured that would, that would be probably a nice update for you guys. Figured you would care to see it. And aside from that, we got a lot of content coming in Atlanta. So up next, we got some videos with the Mustang. I think you guys are going to like a lot. So subscribe so that way you're ready for those. And I'll see you in the next one.